Hi, this is Walter Bond, and welcome to Peak Performance Life. Today in this huddle, we want to talk about how to create a commitment in other people. You understand, if you want to grow a business, the first thing you got to do is to help build commitment in others. You know what, if you want to build a commitment, it starts with your internal customer, but also your external customer. There's simple ways to build commitment. As a business leader, as a CEO, as an entrepreneur, if you have employees, let me teach you something something very, very important. You need to make sure you breed confidence, exhume confidence. People love to be led by confident people. So you're asking yourself the question, well, Walter, I struggle with my confidence. Here's what you got to understand. Nothing breeds confidence better than expertise. Make sure that you build your expertise as a professional so high that your confidence will be congruent with your excellence. And I promise you, people will buy in to your confidence because people need to be led by confident leaders. When I talk about internal customer and I talk about an external customer as a business leader and a business owner, they should be very, very important to you. You see, your internal customer are also called your employees. See, I believe you should call them an internal customer just to remind yourself that your job is to be of service, not only to your external customer, but to your internal customer. People always worry about, I got to take care of my customer. I got to take care of my customer and then fail or neglect to take care of their internal customer. There is no way. You are fooling yourself to think that if you're going to not do a good job for your internal customer, that they're going to turn around and do a great job with your internal or external customer. If you want to have your customers to have a great customer experience, your first job is to take care of your internal customer, which simply means every time I come to work, I need to have a great experience inside that building. There's simple things you can do to create a culture and an atmosphere where your employees have a great experience every day they come to work because that attitude that energy if they love what they do if they love the culture if they enjoy the environment that enthusiasm that spirit that charisma will be transferred as they relate to your external customer so if you're worried about your external customer your job your number one job is to make sure that you do a good job with your internal customer first I want you to teach you something about your internal and your external customer Customer that are really, really synonymous. They love to be a part of a cause or a movement. We all love to be a part of a cause or movement. So what cause are you creating? Or what movement are you creating with your product or your service? Are you truly disrupting your industry? Are you doing something that's better than anybody else? Are you changing the game within your industry? Your employees will buy in. They will feed in to anything that is a cause or movement and they need to believe in the product. It is really hard for an internal customer to come to work with creativity, innovation, and passion if they don't believe in the product. You need to make sure that you have advocates, not only internally, but externally, who are going to constantly promote your product. And the great thing about advocates who are external customers, they are customers, but they are also advocates who will promote your product without being on payroll. They are unpaid sales rep. They are going to talk about your product or your service like the Pod Piper, and they're going to create such a groundswell. They're going to create such a movement that you will be able to get marketing dollars well spent because your door will be crowded because your internal and external customer are buying in and they are advocates talking about your product and your service all day long. People need to buy in emotionally and psychologically and I want you to learn one thing about your environment. You need to make sure that you create an environment where everyone in the building is committed. You see, uncommitted people frustrate committed people. So you can't afford to have uncommitted people inside your building. Because if you have too many uncommitted people and you get the committed people frustrated, what's going to happen? Your committed people will leave and you will be left with a building full of uncommitted people. If I were you, if that's my company and I'm in charge, I'm going to create an environment where my committed people are in, in charge, where my committed people drive the culture, where my committed people force out the uncommitted people who aren't down with the movement and who aren't a part of the cause. If you want to create commitment for your product or your service, you need to make sure that you make sure that 
everyone internally and externally has a great experience every time they go to work and every time they engage your product or your service. And if you can do that every single day in every way, you will find commitment everywhere you look. There's one restaurant right now in my life that I am committed to. It is no bigger than a bathroom stall. But every time I go to this restaurant, it is a phenomenal experience. Not only with the food, I love talking to the servers. I love standing on the wall. I don't even mind waiting because every single time, every day, in every way, I have a phenomenal experience. I've been going to this restaurant since 1987, and now this restaurant calls Our Breakfast in Dinkytown on the campus of the University of Minnesota is winning awards and being honored on TV. I enjoyed this restaurant years before it was on TV and before it won awards. But you know what? They make sure you have a great experience every single time. And now I'm an unpaid sales rep bragging about Al's Breakfast everywhere I go. Do I brag about your product? Do I brag about your service? Do you have other people that brag about your product or brag about your service? Don't you quit until you have committed internal customers and external customers. Because when you can have both, guess what? Your marketing dollars are well spent because a Pied Piper will lead them right back to the door and all you will say is ka -ching. When I hear the sound of that whistle, it takes me back in time when I learned how to become a peak performer. When I played college basketball, my coach would blow that whistle and he would call all my teammates in and in this huddle, he would motivate us, he would inspire us, he would teach us, he would correct us, and the reality is this, he called my name more in that huddle than anybody else's name. Here's why. He saw a tremendous potential in me that was trapped and buried and he wouldn't let it die in me and he brought it out until I became an NBA player. In that huddle, I learned how to develop and become a peak performer. I learned two things, that peak performance is a process, but most importantly, peak performance is a team sport. I would not have reached my potential without my coach investing time and energy into my development.